Russia's Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle. Russia has reportedly decided shelve development of its RS-26 Rubas intercontinental ballistic missile system, armed with Avangard hypersonic boost glide vehicle, using other designs. The decision suggests the Kremlin. The hypersonic vehicle is more valuable than the missile. The RS-26 has been in development since before 2011. It is a controversial design that some have suggested could actually violate the Intermediate Range Forces Treaty, commonly known as INF. Though Russia has insisted it is an ICBM, and has demonstrated that it can reach the appropriate range. The Russian Ministry of Defense released the image in March 2018 reportedly showing a Vanguard prototypes and a computer-generated depiction of its operational concept. Without the Rubes, the primary launch vehicle for a Vanguard will likely be the still-in-development silo-launched RS-28 Sarmat ICBM, also known as the Satan II, also called the SS-18. Some reports suggest it may be able to carry as many two dozen of the hypersonic boost glide vehicles, but this remains unconfirmed. However, TASS reports say that the hypersonic boost glide vehicle will be operational by 2019 and that it could enter service first aboard the SS-19 Stiletto. Russia reportedly acquired approximately 30 more of these missiles, in a deactivated state and would refurbish and modify them in order to carry a vanguard. Since these missiles remain in Russian service already, it would be relatively easy for the country to swap out the existing weapons with upgraded versions carrying hypersonic vehicles. This plan makes a lot of practical sense. The benefit of a hypersonic boost glide vehicle is that it eliminates many of the existing vulnerabilities of traditional ICBMs, which follow largely predictable signatures and flight paths after launch. While existing U.S. space-based early warning sensors should be able to detect the launch of any ICBMs, especially from the thermal plume of the missile blasting off, they wouldn't be unable to monitor the subsequent flight of a Vanguard glide vehicle, which will reportedly be able to make rapid and frequent course changes at extremely high speed. By the Pentagon's own admission, the no component of the U.S. military's ballistic missile shield would be able to shoot down such a missile, either. U.S. Air Force General John Hyten, head of U.S. Strategic Command told members of Congress during a public hearing on March 2018. We don't have any defense that could deny the employment of such a hypersonic glide vehicle against us, so our response would be our deterrent force which would be the triad and the nuclear capabilities that we have to respond to such a threat. It's worth noting, that the U.S. ballistic missile defense shield as it exists today is in no way capable of defeating the Kremlin's existing hypersonic glide vehicle, either. This then brings up the possibility that the Russians simply can't afford RS-26, whether they want it or not, along with the slew of other advanced strategic capabilities they claim to be pursuing. True or not? There are still serious questions about whether or not Russia will be able to sustain its myriad strategic weapons programs in the future. At present, the country claims to be working on the RS-28 ICBM, a Vanguard, the Kinslayer-launched hypersonic missile, a fleet of upgraded to 160M2 long-range bombers, the Poseidon long-range nuclear torpedo, the Buivestnik nuclear-powered and nuclear-armed cruise missile, as well as upgrades to many of its existing designs. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.